Hi, my name is Alex Smith. I'm a customer success manager with the Mind Manager Global Sales Enablement and Training Department. Today, we'll be taking a look at co-editing for the Mind Manager 2020 release. Just so you know, we're currently offering co-editing for free to all users that are on the 2020 version for Windows, if you haven't installed or enabled your co-editing environment yet. The offer is valid from now through June 30th, 2020 and it provides co-editing for free until the end of this year. In order to activate it, follow these steps. Start by clicking co-edit and start co-editing session in the menu ribbon. Next, you'll click to subscribe at the bottom of the invite screen or at the bottom of the co-editing interface if someone has shared a file with you. In the field mark enter number or key, Enter the following activation code as shown on the screen. Now that we've activated our account, the first thing we'll need to do is save our document in a web ready format. Let's do that now. We'll start by clicking on file, then going down to save as. If you have any predefined locations, they will appear here. If you need to add a new place, use this option below. We support Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, as well as SharePoint. Now that my file is saved in SharePoint, you'll see an indicator in the upper left corner of the screen, here. Now we're ready to click the co-edit option on the Home tab and start a co-editing session. As you can see, Mind Manager has now removed us from the desktop application and invited us to a co-editing session live within our web browser. In the upper left corner, you have all your standard menu options, including the ability to search the document for any keywords. Below that, you have your standard items like cut, copy, and paste, add new topics, subtopics, and floating topics, as well as relationship lines, boundaries, and adjusting the color and shape of the topics themselves. If you need to share the document, you can do that in two places, here and here. Now let's go ahead and start a simple map, and we'll walk through some of the other functionality here on the right side of the screen. Using the enter key on my keyboard, I can bring in two new main topics. If I press insert, I will get a subtopic. But if I return to the enter key, I will get subtopics on the exact same level. Now that we have topics in our map, we can start to talk about some of the features and functions of the Mind Manager co-editing environment listed on the right side of the screen. As you can see, we can hover over several topics, open our task info environment, and give them a priority. If we notice that the priority should be updated by clicking on the actual icon, it will scroll through in a numeric fashion from one through five. Next, we can apply progress markers to our topics as well. That way, as we track our projects, we'll know exactly how far we've come and how far we need to go. Using the filter option here in the map, you can start to identify the different priorities that are available in your document. You have the show, fade, and hide options up above. As you can see, I've chosen priority one and has removed all other topics from the map. If I click the box again, it will return to normal. To keep the mapping canvas clean and easy to understand, we suggest using notes to capture any large amounts of text or other kinds of data. You can do that by selecting a topic, clicking on the three dots here, and choosing to open the note pane. And here, you can add more content. You can also bring in content by activating hyperlinks within the co-editing environment as well. As you can see, any attachments or links that you've already applied will appear here. Let's walk through that process now. As you can see, a new icon will appear next to the topic. If you click on that icon, it will open a brand new web browsing window and take you to that location. Now that we've marked up our document, let's give it a relationship and a boundary to identify a bit more of the context.
As you can see, the relationship line has anchor points that allow you to move the line to the exact location you're looking for. Any of the changes that we've made during this co-editing session will also be available in the Mind Manager for Windows 2020 desktop application. The software has notified us that a new version is available. Let's reload the file. All of our changes from the HTML5 co-editing environment are now available to us within Mind Manager 2020 for Windows. We hear many stories from our users that speak to the value co-editing brings to their team and organization. Project managers, for instance, know that assigning and following up on tasks can be an endless chore. Co-editing in Mind Manager enables dynamic planning sessions where users can meet in real time and where action items and tasks are defined, assigned, and agreed upon. Naturally, it's also very popular for brainstorming. Examples include kicking off a project where team members can collaborate on project goals, scope, steps, and responsibilities. Another common use case is knowledge management, where thought leaders can meet to collaborate on knowledge maps that will later be shared for training or educational purposes, and that helps avoid information silos. Thanks for taking a look at this video, and remember, sign up for your account today.